We do not electrocute them with cattle prods. We do not pour hot oil down their nostrils or other forms of ter interrogation or do the things that were done to them in S-21, but we do waterboard them. Do you not think if waterboarding was torture that one of those American service members would have complained to his congressman, there would have been congressional hearings, and, we would have, and it would have been banned by law? If we had been pulling off their fingernails, that would have happened. Right. Well, we're talking about waterboarding. And Mark, certainly Mark, a lot of people I, have Mark, complained. Mark, can I put one question to Mark? Yeah. Uh, Christian, can I put one question to Mark? If it's not torture and if it's not a problem, do you have any objection to American uh, nationals being waterboarded in other countries? Do you have any objection to American servicemen and women American, being subjected to waterboarding? American servicemen and women are lawful combatants who are protected by the Geneva Conventions. Terrorists who are, uh, who are unlawful combatants who target innocent men and women and, and, ter and women are not lawful combatants, and you can interrogate them differently. Can I but ask they, you, But, but the point is, why, where, is, why where, is water... I want to ask you, Philippe, why is waterboarding can, can American service members... Let me, answer, let me finish now. Why is waterboarding American service members not torture? Or do we torture our troops? They're only done in I, training, I think, as I you think, know. I, I, I think training is a completely different thing. Okay, so you acknowledge that not all waterboarding side. is torture. So when we, when uh, we waterboard I, I, our troops, it's uh, not torture. Uh, Mark, Mark. I, I find it, what? I find it's, it's, it incredible, Mark, <laughs> that you would, you would suggest that uh, an American serviceman or woman who is put through that process knowing no. that the moment he asks for it to stop, it will be stopped, could be the same thing as being okay. waterboarded. I want to ask, I want to ask the final question. But, 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 Christian, but Christian, can I just put this point? I take it that Mark has confirmed, as General Myers confirmed to me, as General Hill confirmed to me, it would be totally unacceptable in all circumstances for any American to be subject to any of these techniques abroad. Because they are that because they have the, Geneva Convention, is... full protections of the Geneva Convention, which Precisely. terrorists do not, do, do not merit. Can I ask you this? Yes. Do you not think that all of this debate, including America's ability to keep dangerous people imprisoned, would have been enhanced had the Bush administration simply called them POWs from the beginning, put them away until the end of the war with the rights and protections of the Geneva Conventions, what? but kept them away in prison until the end of the war? But why would we give them Geneva Convention protections? They don't merit Geneva Convention protections. They're terrorists. The, the Geneva Convention, this is one of okay. the biggest myths about the Geneva Convention. It is not designed to govern the treatment of prisoners of war. It is designed to protect civilians from the, to get people to follow the laws of war. So if you give the same protections to someone who violates the laws of war or someone who follows them, you completely undermine the Geneva Convention. But the point is, these techniques, as applied by the CIA, produced intelligence that stopped a terrorist attack to blow up our consulate in Karachi, to blow up our marine camp in Djibouti, to blow, to, for Al-Qaeda, who was they were planning to hijack an airplane and fly it into Heathrow Airport and, and uh, buildings in downtown London, I hope nowhere near your offices, Philippe. And they were planning to fly an airplane into a uh, li library tower in, in, uh, in Los Angeles. So my question to Philippe is, which of these attacks would you prefer we hadn't stopped? I, I simply don't accept your uh, underlying premise that any information that has been obtained would have prevented these things. Let me it's test the proposition a different... Let me test your proposition a different way. You argue that because these techniques were used uh, in the United States, there were no further attacks on the mainland. How then do you explain the fact that in the United Kingdom, which doesn't use these techniques, there have been no further attacks in the last five years? The argument is a fallacious argument. It's, not. it's a naive argument. It's, it's straight out of, frankly, Mark, it's straight out of Monty Python. Okay, listen, this is a very heated debate, obviously sure. very, very strong convictions, and we are going to talk about it more on our website. We're going to continue continue this discussion which you can all see on amanpour.com and we'll be back right after a break in a moment so stay with us